Good morning. This is John Felt with Blue Water Outlook. This is the Tropical Depression Isaac briefing on Friday morning, August 31st. Here's the uh, latest satellite picture, visible satellite picture of Isaac. You can see that it's very clearly defined as far as the circulation around it. Uh, clear skies all around all quadrants other than right where the clouds with Isaac are. You can see some bumpiness here. These are the heavier bands of rain. Uh, you can see some moisture streaking in here. Uh, but it certainly keeps its, rot its uh, pattern, its organization a bit as it moves and goes through extra tropical transition from a tropical system into a synoptic scale system. The uh, water vapor image here shows uh, how water, uh, very deep tropical moisture is still feeding into the uh, circulation. Look at this. Here we have uh, so a flow from the Atlantic that pulls all the way into it, and we're still continuing to feed moisture in from the Gulf. So it's pulling in a lot of moisture, and it's showing that it has a uh, definite potential of heavy rain still. Uh, the cloud tops here, these enhanced cloud tops, are where you'd expect the, the highest uh, cl clouds, the coldest cloud tops, and then also the heaviest rainfall. Uh, so it's definitely a lot of uh, potential for heavy rain due to the tropical feeds from both the Atlantic and the Gulf. And uh, certainly a history of a lot of heavy rain. Here are some rainfall estimates so far uh, with Isaac. The heaviest rain was right when it made landfall. The purple there is uh, estimates of 12 inches or more. I believe I heard New Orleans received about 20 inches of rain, and that was probably close to the maximum amount. There are probably some uh, localized amounts heavier than that. As it worked up to it, uh, the north, uh, you can see here that uh, the heavy rain continued. This yellow area is uh, 3 to 5 inches of rain. Red is uh, 6 to 8 inches of rain, and now it's continuing to pull further north. Now, it's probably going to gradually diminish the amount of rain we're getting further and further away from the sources of that tropical moisture. It's also gradually weakening as far as the lift of the upward motion. So the rainfall amounts will decrease, but keep in mind that uh, tropical systems can always fool you. That amount of moisture is so deep and so extensive, uh, rain's very efficient, and uh, you'll get heavy rainfall amounts well away from the uh, Gulf or the Atlantic. So um, I still expect very heavy rainfall. Here's another way to look at it. This is a graphic I show from time to time. It's uh, precipitable water, and precipitable water is a total amount of water in the atmospheric column. So that's basically how moist uh, the air is. And uh, right associated with the low, um, you see that 2.3, and, and that's 2.3 inches of precipitable water, which is a tremendous amount of precipitable water, uh, especially that far away from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's why we're feeding in that deep tropical moisture and getting very heavy rain over Missouri right now. Now, it might not look all that impressive on radar. That's what I have overlaid here, but it's definitely producing very heavy rainfall over short periods of time. Now, here's uh, to put it in perspective, here's a climatology of precipitable water for Springfield, Missouri, and I put a red dot uh, approximately where you would find it this time of year, and it puts it well above 90% for uh, this time of year for precipitable water. And when you get a 90% or more, maybe even 99% percentile, you almost always get an extreme rain event. So we'll see what you know happens here. But I wouldn't be surprised that we have an overall very widespread rain, but there are some spots in there that get really an extreme rain uh, event out of this. Uh, as far as the rainfall forecast goes from uh, the Weather Service, uh, this is the outlook. Uh, the, uh, as it begins to move off to the east, you can see the heaviest rain extends from Missouri across Illinois into Indiana. Like I said, it's gradually going to be weakening. Um, I don't think you're going to be getting those really high rainfall amounts as it moves east. But on the same time, don't underestimate how much rain this tropical system or tropical traits of a system can produce. Uh, seven inches of rain around St. Louis, um, perhaps some point values even a little bit higher. So what impacts are they going, is this going to produce? This is an image showing the uh, potential main stem river flooding. Uh, these are these boxes here. Um, the most significant river flooding, the red and purple, is confined uh, to around New Orleans and southern Mississippi. Just scattered spots in Missouri, those are those yellow boxes. 
And that's because it's been so much drier and rainfall amounts dropping off a bit. Uh, the area in Missouri can handle, oh, three, four inches of rain, depending on how it comes down before you get main stem river flooding. Now, you can get flash flooding, and that's those um, red boxes there and the watches in green. Um, because the rain will be coming down so quick, it can overwhelm the soil's ability to soak that up. So you, you can definitely get some flash flooding. I think you're going to see some pretty widespread problems with urban flooding in the St. Louis area uh, throughout the day and any other metro area that this heavy rain would be moving over. And finally, to end today's briefing, uh, this is an overlay of the current radar and the U.S. drought monitor. And the most significant drought is in the area of red. And right now, that rain is right smack over the core of the most extensive drought in Missouri and surrounding states. Uh, that area is sort of like a big sponge. It can soak up a lot of rain. So it really depends how it falls. But I tell you, I think in a couple days from now, you're probably not going to see a whole, much, a whole lot of sign of this water anymore on the ground. It might take a while to soak it up, but the ground can certainly hold a lot of inches of rain. Uh, it's not going to sit on the ground too long. So in some ways, I think as it gets into the Midwest, this is going to be a story of some scattered uh, flooding uh, problems here and there. But for the most part, this is going to be a rainfall that's going to help with the recharge of water resources and probably tamper down that drought to some degree. Uh, might not eliminate it, um, but it'll definitely uh, alleviate drought impacts um, to some extent. That's been the uh, morning briefing from Blue Water Outlook. Uh, if you'd like more information, go to bluewateroutlook.com. You can sign up for information, um, updates to our briefings. Thank you very much for listening.